students. Let's go. Welcome to the 3D printing lab. So today I am going to assign you a okay, task. So in the task we have to conclude, uh, uh, discuss how the product is uh, going to be manufactured in the cost effective manner. Right? So this is the component. Today I brought it for the class. Right? What is the component? This is that. Am I right? So this is the component which is going to fit in the bowl. Am I right? So this component should be manufactured in a cost effective way. So I need you to uh, use the design thinking approach and uh, write solution for my problem. So the problem here is need to manufacture a man in a cost effective manner. How about the material research? So actually, uh, if you if you say about the material wastage, uh, if you manufacture this component, right? What will happen? Yes, actually, what is the process of manufacturing this uh, component? Yes, yes, good. So casting is the technique where the metals are melted in a furnace, am I right? And it is poured in a cavity. So the shape of the cavity is formed as the metal, am I right? After forming, what will you do? What will you do? Machining. So while machining, what will happen? The material is wasted, am I right? So once the material is wasted, you think you think back. So how about the casting? What happens? How do you melt the metal? By heating. By heating. So you need power to heat. Either it can be coal or it can be electric current, depends upon the furnace. Am I right? So you have to melt the metal and you have to pour it into the cavity and then you have to remove the remove the unwanted material in order to obtain the expected job and Right? So this process cons consists of wastage of material and the use of more energy as well as there is a pollution of the carbon footprints. So what can you do? What are the other process uh, you can do for manufacturing this nut? Very good. Yes, yes. What do you mean 3D printing? Very good, yes? Yes, it is a layer by layer. Normally, if you print a paper in the printer, what happens? It prints in the XY direction. Am I right? So here in 3D printing, the third dimension is the Z dimension. That is the thickness. So here the material is built layer by layer. So hence, there is no need of any material removal. So there is no any subtraction of material. So this process is otherwise called as additive manufacturing. So that is the layer by layer manufacturing. So by this discussion, I hope you all know how to manufacture a component without uh, losing material or without uh, losing a uh, without, uh, without having a wastage or a cost effective manner. Am I right? Yes, Shall we move on to the equipment where the component is manufactured? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Sir. So this is a machine where the component is built in the three dimension, right? So this component uh, the built in the machine, so this uh, component built here is a nut. That is what our requirement, am I right? So this nut is manufactured by using this machine. This is called fused deposition modeling. This is the process where uh, the material is melted in the nozzle and it flows in the semi-solid state, right? So material here, you can see on the top, you can see the material is uh, fit in the roller uh, form, right? A wire kind of material. This wire kind of material is melt inside the nozzle where it consists of a heating coil, right? So once the material is melt, uh, it forms as a semi-solid matter, right? That semi-solid material is flown through the nozzle according to the desired shape. So this is how this material is manufactured by using the 3D printing process. So once this manufactured component, if you see the manufactured component, there is no wastage of any material addition or material removal. Since the component is finished, right, from the machine, if you take this component, the required geometry is attained. 
So, what are, what is the process? What are the different kinds of process you have gone through so far this uh, additive manufacturing course? Stereo lithography. Laser, metal, selective laser sintering. That is a laser application, right? Selective laser sintering and selective laser melting, right? Then fuse deposition modeling is what you have seen now. Then binder jet technology, right? So there are many kind of applications of 3D printing, right? So these process are chosen according to the requirement. So here the nut is manufactured in this equipment. So this is a minor component and the, the plastic uh, material is used. So here I need to manufacture a nut in a plastic material. So that is why I have chosen this process, right? Chosen this equipment. So else I can choose some other equipment. For if I need to print a metal, I will go for the laser application, right? So is there any clarification? Actually after manufacturing this component, what we have to do is we have to check the material strength, right? The strength of the component, right? So there we will use that impact strength, right? Uh, flexural, uh, flexural test. So these kind of tests are used, corrosion test. If it is a metal component, you need to perform corrosion test because this nut is used in a area where water, uh, underwater means, what will happen? Because of the uh, salt content in the water, the rust will form and then the nut will, uh, nut will get uh, damaged or rusted uh, soon. So these kind of tests are performed. Depending upon the application, the tests are chosen and then it is performed. Yes. Video, video putting in technology also more uh, time compared to the casting. Uh, uh, no, when you see the different uh, process, right, uh, casting, uh, metal forming process or uh, some metal removal process, the uh, uh, base thing is uh, what you have to do is you have to prepare a raw material, right. So you need to prepare a raw material, then you have to remove the unwanted uh, component in the geometry in order to attain the uh, desired geometry. But in 3D printing, how long it take time? So you are watching this machine, am I right? Uh, while I am taking lecture, am I right? So how long it took? Just 5 minutes, am I right? Once you uploaded the CAD model in the computer system, what happened is the uh, machine started prepare, preparing itself and the material started heating and it shown the timer, am I right? So this timer, this timer uh, shows how many time elapsed and uh, what is the percentage of material printed, right? So this is how it took time, 5 minutes only it took time for manufacturing this component nut, right? So whereas in you manufacture in a conventional way, that, uh, that will take much time, right? You have to, you have to melt the metal, right? Then you have to pour the, it to the cavity, then you have to take the rough shape and then you have to drill a hole and then you have to machine the outer surface as an hexagonal pot and then you have to put thread inside. So multiple operations. So these multiple operations will definitely consume more time and it will uh, also cost labor. So here the machine itself built a 3D printed nut. You can see the difference, right? So within a short span of time, this machine uh, printed the required product. So this technology is a most effective technology which is used in the modern days in order to achieve the Required uh, solution for the engineering problems. Sir, can we use 3D printing for bulk, uh, bulk operation? Yes, yes. So this 3D printing machine is having a single nozzle you can see here. But okay. whereas uh, if it is in a bulk or uh, production, uh, there they, they assemble this machine accordingly and then they will start for production. So how many nozzles or how many print head is there, that, uh, that determines the batch or the mass production. So this 3D printing is evolved in the earlier stage as a uh, manufacturing of a prototype. Nowadays they have started using manufacturing many products in a bulk manner. Yes? Yes? Thank you. Thank you sir.